kosher down here? Julia Leeson is on patrol. She's looking for weeds in this wheat field. Leeson is part of a team of Agriculture Canada researchers. They go from field to field across the prairies, taking a sort of inventory of different types of weeds. The surveys are done after in-crop spraying and before uh, harvest, so we're looking to see what survived uh, in-crop uh, management and will potentially produce seed and be a problem next year. One that always seems to be a problem is kochia, a highly adaptable and resistant weed that can spread like wildfire. And warmer weather due to climate change is making it spread faster and further. We are seeing it now move up into areas uh, even north of Saskatoon, for example. Um, and uh, we've also documented this weed now uh, starting to become an issue even as far north as the Peace River region in Alberta. Modeling from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada shows that range could be even further north and further east into Manitoba by the year 2070. Kochia and other agricultural weeds can also thrive under drought conditions, something the prairie provinces are no stranger to, and something that will get worse under climate change. Herbicides are one solution to keeping all these weeds at bay, but many are constantly outsmarting farmers by evolving and finding ways to resist chemicals. That's where Sean Sharp comes in. He's using a non-herbicide spray to make weeds emerge in the fall. That way they're killed off by the frost, leaving them unable to regrow come spring. So we were able to get about a 10% increase in the greenhouse of, its, uh, of emergence um, on freshly matured seed, which is very promising. It's research that could benefit fields like this one on Stuart Lawrence's farm. Lawrence grows pulse crops where kochia is known to thrive. Well, there's a saying that, you know, you can't spray your way out of a problem you sprayed your way into. And so I think that agronomy and, and cultural controls are, are going to be the best tool that we can have in the future to get, you know, kochia under control. And until there's a solid solution, weed watchers like Julia Leeson will keep hunting, making sure no weed goes undetected. Ethan Williams, CBC News, near Saskatoon.